it's Rebecca and today is another book review day and this week I have been reading Suburban Glamour by Jamie McKelvey so I will read you the blurb and then talk to you about the book Life's tough when you're a teenager homework, boy trouble and meddling parents so when Astrid Johnson has to deal with imaginary friends turned real monster attacks and fairy magic as well that's just not fair is it? So this book is completely outside of my normal bookish choices but I picked it up at the library for something like 50p or something and I thought I would give it a go because it looked interesting and the reason that it's outside of my normal bookish choices is that it is a comic book, graphic novel, I don't know what they're called, book with lots of pictures in it but I thought I would give it a go because I like to branch out and read different things. Last year, for the reading challenge last year, I read a graphic novel about a little fluffy bunny rabbit called Fluffy. It was adorably cute and I really enjoyed it. This one is nothing like that though. So Astrid is a teenager and she's at high school doing her A-levels and she's got two best friends, Chris and Dave. And they do the normal things that teenagers do. They drink, they go to parties, they sometimes go to school and study. And you can tell that Astrid, she's slightly different. You can even see kind of from the front, she's, you know, slightly distracted. Her mind's off on other things. And one night when she's in bed, she gets awoken by her childhood imaginary friends. And that's when things start to change and start to become a little bit more peculiar and a little bit more unreal. And that's as far as I'm going to tell you about the story because it then completely changes into something that I wasn't really expecting. It started off feeling like it was just going to be some, not depressing, but a lot of teenagers go through feelings of not fitting in, not feeling as though they belong anywhere. The whole world is kind of crowded in on them. I know I felt it, especially you're, you're coming up to the end of your A-levels and you're expected to know what you want to do with the rest of your life and her teachers want her to make plans, her parents want her to make plans, they want her to go to university, they want her to do things with her life and she's not sure what she wants to do and, and I totally relate to that because I think at 17 or 18 you are still far too young to be making these life-changing decisions. So it starts off like that, which did take me back to high school. And then, like I say, she has these imaginary friends that, that come back. These are, these are the ones that she had when she was children. And they just pop up. And, yeah, things start to change. Things start to happen that she's not sure about. And although this story is completely unreal and things happen to her that would never ever happen, it's kind of an allegory for life, how we are expected to make these life choices, how things can be thrown in our paths that completely change the whole setup of how we think things are supposed to be. Some people think that they're going to go to university, get a job, get married, have a family, and something could go completely wrong. No, not wrong. Something could change. Because things happen for a reason. It might not be what you wanted to do, but it's what happens. And everything turns out all right in the end. And it's, it's just a really, really lovely story of overcoming things, growing up, finding out who you are, finding out what you want from life and how you're going to deal with these obstacles that, that get in your way and I did really really enjoy it I especially enjoyed pages where there were, were no no text it was just pictures and you could kind of feel the emotion and feel what the characters are thinking or experiencing or the emotions they have just through very very simple drawings but yeah really really good really enjoyed it so I'm really glad that I picked this one up so if you'd like to hear any of my other book reviews, then please subscribe to my channel. I put new videos out every time I've read a book, every time I do anything to do with books or writing, really. So if you're interested in any of those things, then please subscribe and I will see you soon. Have a good day.